Okay, here we have Glory Seeker 2X, uh, Follow Don't Blow This Member, versus Mayor McJustin. Uh, Glory Seeker is on player one side, staying on Ryu, it looks like. They might just be talking. Okay, moves to Feilong, and Mayor McJustin, player two, rocking DJ. All right! Uh, both these characters are characters I'm not intimately familiar with, especially Feilong. Feilong is my least played character in this entire game. There you'll see Mayor McJustin, or DJ I should say, a lot of DJ players will go for a knockdown and just try for uh, mix-up loops. Ooh, right there, anytime you see DJ do that super mid-screen, you can hit him on that fourth hit. There's a little bit of a pause. And if you have an invincible reversal, like say Phalong has that flame kick, you just DP him, and it does a lot of damage. Because, I mean, he's not blocking his full chip. A uh, pretty sick cross-up. After that fierce, you can also do Rekkas. Or maybe you just want to keep it easy, and you can do that fierce and then the flame kick. A pretty impressive stuff from Glory Seeker there. Yeah, DJ, like Guile, will play Keep Boy. And right there. Ooh, but there you go. That's exactly what I was talking about. While his foot is still out, you can punish with an invincible move, like that super. Nice up kick. Uh, probably could have capitalized a little bit more by doing the forward instead of short up kicks. Uh, I don't think that was an intentional anti air with that fierce. Another good thing that DJ has is that his fierce animation is I ah oh, missed the punish. Is that his fierce animation is identical to his fireball animation? So you can do a fake. I mean, you don't get the noise, but it's better than nothing. You can just throw out a fierce, just standing fierce full screen. They might react and jump and think it's going to be a fireball. Ooh, got some dolphin play. Uh, I possibly may be known for being a dolphin player. And this one, how I play against DJ, I do low strongs. And DJ usually blocks. That's also another thing that DJ does. <laughs> Looks like they got some chat going on, or Justin's going AFK, most likely. I'll just talk about how I, how I play against DJs. DJ will like to do max outs. I mean, that's what he does. You can actually low strong underneath max outs on its startup. It's not going to be as good as Guile doing it against Guile, but it's still pretty effective. Even if you trade, it's going to stop him from doing max outs. You, know, you can slide right under his normals. Uh, he doesn't have a very good invincible reversal. His up kicks are okay, but like they're not going to go through fireballs or anything like that. And so say you get him in the corner, you can just fireball trap him, or I love to do yoga flame traps. Ooh, nice stuff. I got a bit greedy with those up flames. You gotta be careful on that. Of course, that air forward is gonna be an overhead. Uh, with Sim, be careful, because DJ can up kick that. He can actually do a lot of normals against that too that will beat your attack. Uh, probably not the safest normal to be doing. Uh, with Sim, you can slide under the fireballs, of course, too. So say you can slide under, and then instantly do super right when you get into range. Even if you do chip damage, it puts the pressure back onto him and takes pressure off of you. Nice stuff. Very nice stuff. Probably gonna go in for a tick. Oh no. Okay, I agree with the flame. I can't say no to that. Uh, nice shit, keeping DJ out. DJ's not playing as aggressive as he could. DJ can't play turtle style like he normally does in most matchups in this. Sim is just that much better of a turtle than DJ. He can outzone DJ very easily. And so, what DJ needs to capitalize on. One of Sim's biggest weaknesses is that he does not have a good reversal, does not have a good wake-up option. DJ has two knockdowns. You gotta use those. You get a knockdown on Dalsum, it's party time. You do your cross-ups, do whatever you want. 
You just keep the pressure on once you get one knockdown. He's not going to have a good wake up answer. Uh, if you mistime it, of course, Dalzim can slide underneath your cross up attempt. So you have to be on point when you do your slides. Or not your like, slides, when you do your cross ups. Uh, since Sim was in the corner, all three of those hit. <laughs> and he drilled the fuck out of that Max Out. That Max Out didn't stand a chance. That jump short will actually beat quite a few of Sim's normals, too. If you see that, just normally block. Uh, of course, if you're on the ground, you can slide it. I... DJ here, when when Sim tries to drill over like a max out and you got time, you can actually probably low fierce or low strong or maybe up kick. Right there, that low fierce, that elbow, I swear to god it has like Mario Starman power on it. Mm, I would have gotten in. He was expecting DJ to do that, like a jump in or get in unsafe. Always just try to get your distance in. I look at Sim Super as it's good chip damage. If you hit them, lucky you. Unless of course you got like a dizzy or you know you're gonna hit them. I don't I don't wait too long for it. Also pretty effective against DJ is when you do like a low forward or a low attack, can't sorry about that. Cancel into a fireball. Nice combo. A uh, DJ again. He does not have a good anti-air. Oh God, why am I talking about anti-air? He doesn't have a very good reversal. If he up kicks, you're gonna push him back far enough away where those up kicks will not hit you. He will get hit by your yoga fire if you do like low forward cancel yoga fire. And you do what you want to do in this match when you keep DJ out of your face. Again, DJ's normals are some of the best in the game. So you don't want him too close to you to utilize those normals on you. Another kick to max out. <laughs> okay, from there... Ooh, he... He knew what I was talking about right there. You want to walk in, just get your chip damage. He was just barely out of range. And Sim, believe it or not, is a fat ass in this game and will eat all hits of every fucking combo. Uh, Sim, don't be afraid to yoga fire here. You get full screen. What's he gonna do? Max out? You have a, you have a directional motion. He has a charge motion. You're gonna win no matter what, like if it comes to a fireball fight full screen. When you're that close, I don't know if DJ can actually hit you right away in the startup of his up kick. I think he might be able to. He might still get tagged by the flame, but he'll still get a knockdown on you. And in the end, that turns into DJ's paper. Okay, again, another thing with the super with Dalsum. You don't want to just you don't want to throw it out there and hope the other guy fucks up. Just use it for chip damage if you're not if you're not confident on using it like any time. Just get your chip damage in, get the pressure off of you. Ooh, Chun, my number one nemesis in this game. Here's how you beat her. You get up and you walk away. No. <laughs> gotta be real careful. She's got that uh, very wide, very slow moving fireball. You're not gonna be able to slide under that. If you try to drill over it, she'll have enough recovery. By the time you get over it, she'll be able to punish you. It's a pretty tough matchup for Sim, I believe. People will argue that, and there's definitely ways Sim can beat her. But to me personally, this is my worst matchup in the game. Uh, you can punish that, of course, with a roundhouse when she does that flip. Another thing to be careful of is she's got such a good jump and such good speed in the air, it's really dangerous to throw out fireballs. 
Uh, she can tag you from pretty far away with a jump forward. A good key is to get above her in the air. You're... Oh, that could have been a good mix-up opportunity. Uh, your jumping fierce will beat any of her air attacks as long as you're above her. And of course, your jump fierce is going to do stupid stun. Oh, missed that follow-up. What Chun should be doing in this situation? Well, I guess there is a should. She's got a huge life lead, so she's doing all right. Although I don't agree with those wall jumps. Uh, there you go. I was going to say just rush his shit down. Sim loses the Chun pressure pretty bad. But with that much of a life lead, with that little bit of time left, keeping safe is also a good idea. All right, let's switch to a DJ. Charge character fireball fight here. Could have done the follow up just a little bit more damage. Do the uh, third up kick there. And you want to be careful, Chun will get. I call it Chun Syndrome. When you see her like that, just sit for a while and walk, you know a super's coming 100% of the time. Well, not 100%, but almost always they're just going to walk up and super. Of course, if she misses, that super is very punishable. Ooh, another missed up kick. That probably would have killed. What I like to do when I play Chun, which is very rare, uh, I almost always throw a fireball in front of my super. Since, since it's stored, you can do toward fireball back, toward. You keep holding your toward, just wait to see what they do about that fireball. Uh, if you get that cross up like that and they get up really quick like that, you don't want to keep ducking because you'll be facing the wrong way. That's happened quite a few times actually. And if you throw out a normal, you're really screwed. You're giving them a free hit. Uh, you're throwing out a normal in the wrong direction. You're putting your back towards them and they can get either a free throw, free combo, no matter what they want. And you're ducking. So your hitbox is going to be wider and they can get bigger combos on you. What the fuck, old Blanca? All right, word, we can go with it. <laughs> I don't know shit about old Blanca. I know absolutely nothing about old Blanca. I don't even know if he has up ball. Oh yeah, of course he has up ball. You get that in hyper fighting. That hits on the way down. Oh, it's so good in hyper fighting. I love hyper fighting Blanca. Yeah, gotta be careful. That's a legit punish. When Chun's doing fireballs like that, a Blanca can actually... I know the same for old Anu. He can jump roundhouse over those. He's got such good reach on that jump roundhouse. And Chun just threw a fireball. She doesn't have a down charge anymore. So she's not going to be able to upkick you. Reaching for the Connie there. <laughs> oh, pretty good up ball. 
Uh, I guess that's one thing you can do. Just go for a trade with a fireball. I, I'm sorry, guys. I don't know shit about old Blanca. <laughs> Alright, uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. That was a request for Glory Seeker. He asked that I did that. And there you go, man. Thanks for watching my videos.